Thank you very much. My PPT is in English, but I will deliver it in Chinese. A brief introduction of, of my company. I'd like to thank Elvin Wang from HTC for uh, this introduction of VR, and he's uh, shown several video clips. That saves me the uh, trouble of showing you further video clips. My company is committed to motion capture. Uh, we have a sensors attached to your body. In the past, uh, we uh, we do uh, special effects for films. Now it's also used uh, in the sports training and the VR interactive. And also we launched Project Alice. It's a set of uh, 2B VR solutions. For me personally, if you Baidu me or Google me, Oh, I've been uh, responsible for marketing and branding at Baidu and Google for, for more than 10 years. Therefore, marketers or brand owners, whenever you want to pr promote your products via Baidu or mobile Baidu or whatsoever, uh, you might uh, have known me already. But today, in my capacity as the VP of uh, Noitum, I'd like to talk about the application of a VR in branding. And I, if I may give you a list of uh, tips, thank you. People say VR is going to be the next generation of a computing platform or the next generation of a media. Media is itself information. Media determines the way we communicate our message. Media determines the different ways we tell our stories, from the print media to the radio stations to TV to internet and mobile internet. Each time the media platform changes, the way we use platform to do promotion or propaganda change. In the era of a VR, uh, everything will be different. There are many uh, possibilities or models in the VR landscape. Uh, it involves uh, output uh, devices, uh, head displays, or mobile VR uh, by leveraging your mobile phone displays, uh, PC connected or PlayStation connected uh, output devices. We call them uh, uh, mainframe uh, uh, supported VR, like uh, Project Alice. It's a room scale VR. There are also input devices. A complete VR solution would include more than the output device. We need to have the interactive part so that you can interact with virtual objects and we can input messages in this way. In 2D world, we have computer, touch screen, touch pad, and mouse, computer mouse. But uh, when we are in the VR world, you can't just use key pad, touch pad, or mouses. We need to use very intuitive ways of interaction. Handles are very popular these days. For Noitum, we would uh, have device based on motion capture. We have uh, data club so that you will, will be able to capture the movement of each finger. The third part would be content and platform. Now, when you experienced HTC 5, you will see that there are many people who will talk about VR, but those who have experienced really good VR, you will see that they are quite rare. For true CR, when you put on your helmet, you're not watching a 3D film or content. You feel that you are in this virtual world. You have this sense of uh, presence. And this is um, Michael Abras, chief scientist of Oculus. He is a pioneer in this sector. He developed computer games such as Doom, and he is very clear about what a really good VR should be like. If you would like to promote your products and services through VR, what are the things that you need to consider first? You need to think what kind of type is your content. Is that 360 degree video or is that a real time rendering model? This determines 
result. So if you would like to do a 360 degree video, this means that uh, interaction might be difficult. You can only look. But if you want to do real time rendering, then you would uh, involve a lot of modeling and running of different programs, which means that you have to have HTC Vive which is connected to a central unit to, for it to be realized. Now the next step is to think about device, whether it should be my mobile VR or tethered VR, and then you need to think about whether the user is an observer or participant. You need to think about whether it's a single player or multi-player interactive experience, I would give you a number of specific examples of um, 10 best cases of using VR in marketing. You also need to think about location, whether this should be experienced at home or in public. In choosing your content, you can rely on this triangle. The core here is your objective. You want to perhaps serve your clients and help them promote their brands, or if you want to promote your own brands, but you need to have an objective. You need to be very clear. Perhaps the objective would be um, the increasing your users or the increasing your sales. But there are three dimensions. First, you need to think whether it is or entertaining or it is a showcase or it is a educational. Let's show the first video. This is uh, based on Project Alice. This is a digital showroom based on our system, Project Alice. This is a tech demo. On the left um, screen, you could see a first person and third person screenshot, and on the big screen, you could see the virtual world when you would see um, as you put on your helmet. This is uh, based on V8, a classical engine of Chevrolet, and in the virtual world, you could. Uh, this you could dismantle the entire engine and place every part in the air, and you could put them together one piece by another. So this digital showroom model can be used in many areas, such as automotive, real estate, furniture, or even in the educational system. You could uh, showcase the solar system, prehistoric animals, human bodies, a cell, or a virus. You're going to have 360 degree interaction and five to eight people can enter the same virtual space. You could pass on a piece to another person and the people could work on the same project together in a VR space. This is going to be a very interesting experience. In such a virtual world, you could present to the users what you would often put in traditional showrooms, and you could do so much more. You could change car models at will, you change the color of the cars and the interior of the cars. We worked with a major appliance company in China. The company wanted to have a VR demonstration area so that users could uh, choose from a variety of um, refrigerator models and uh, choose different colors on the panels. They don't need to have real products and in the system can be replicatable for 500 outlets in the same country, you could use the same VR system so that the overall cost can be very low. We just had a look at uh, 
an application VR and AR can also be used in this regard. Now, this is a very classical case, Lois Hollow Room. It uses the concept of AR. When you have a pad and you are in a empty room, you could see different kinds of furniture. You could choose their texture, color. You could move them around. Let's see the second video. And it was a showcase uh, from several years ago. Now you could uh, see very in a very direct way the difference between VR and AR through this video demonstration. For VR application, you are put into a virtual world, and everything you see is computer generated. But for AR, you are in a virtual space, and. Uh, Excuse me, for AR, you are in a physical, real space, but virtual reality is another layer. Many people think that uh, AR has many applications, but technologically speaking, uh, we hope that in the coming five to ten years, VR could uh, be mixed with AR so that we could achieve mixed reality. We can imagine using such a showcase tool so that your users and potential users could be offered a virtual factory tour and they could be shown behind the scenes um, stories. You can also do online virtual launching event. Thanks to VR, you could invite the people from different time zones in the world to join the virtual press conferences. How can we use VR to entertain your customers then? We know that uh, messages on brand can be communicated in an entertaining manner very effectively. This is a VR experience inspired by the movie The Martian. You could have first person view and feels as if you are wearing a helmet, an astronaut, and uh, you could uh, try to survive by planting potatoes and do many other things on the planet. The other example would be um, a 360 virtual skiing experience accompanied by an Olympic champion. Another example would be John, um, extreme mountain climbing spot case, and Robin Schwartz did a 300 degree VR concert, music concert. Lexus example was a little bit uh, similar to that video played by Alvin that was a shark experience, and this is a very well-known Marriott case. It uh, is inspired by Star Trek, a sci-fi TV show. Now, it has this concept of uh, teleportation. With this system, you could be teleported from one spaceship to another or from one planet to another. Marriott created booths where you could put on VR helmet that could transport you to anywhere in the world. It uses this um, to tell the public that they have presence in almost everywhere in the world. VR could also be used for teaching purposes. You could teach your customers how to use your products. We could use a port of view style, or the, we could have a virtual reality teacher that could assist you in going through the entire process.
This is an example of uh, teaching babies English using VR. The, the other example would be a VR tool to improve your public speaking skills. Now, how um, as a marketer or a branding expert, shall we do? How shall we approach it? Now, how can we create value through VR for our campaigns? And uh, can our VR experiences uh, entertain, inspire, or teach? Can they lead to leads or drive sales, or can they support other marketing goals? The conventional ROI model is uh, something you're very familiar with. I won't dwell upon it. We can use VR experiences to obtain user information, such as their demographic features, their user profile. We can know what kind of devices they use, the download, um, downloads that they have. If we have interactive VR experiences, that interaction is a very important KPI. For example, for each interaction, we could look at time spent, engagement in the game, and whether they're going to share their VR experiences on social media. We could also look at their comments. Last but not least, lead generation. How could we use VR experiences to attract potential buyers or consumers? How can we convert users into real buyers? At the same time, we have to be careful about the dark side of VR. STC Vive, the people will feel. For those who have experienced uh, HTC Vive would say um, the experience was a highly immersive. Well, it amplifies the essential uh, feedback, the sensual responses, hearing, uh, seeing, and emotional responses. You'll feel this heightened excitement. For example, stand at the edge of the cliff. For example, if you stand on top of the uh, over 100 uh, floor building and you uh, go through a plank to help rescue a cat and you have this heightened excitement, the heightened fear. So um, that is probably, uh, they're probably using some uh, physiological uh, measurements of yours to show your level of uh, excitement. For example, heartbeats. Uh, and other physiological um, measurements. So uh, this is uh, the, the wrong uh, way to approach this te te technology. Um, you are deviating from the uh, values. Uh, you are abusing uh, the technology because uh, you give them this heightened physiological responses. Let's say um, some companies put uh, these uh, egg-shaped uh, chairs in uh, shopping malls and make you experience the roller coaster ride. I should say that's not a real uh, VR experience. Real VR experience should uh, have this uh, strike an accord with you emotionally and make you feel the uh, empathy and make you really appreciate the values the brand represents. So that is the dark side of a VR technology and you have to manage it. And also, you need to uh, design this uh, VR uh, model in such a way you can integrate it in your marketing plan. So it becomes a VR model. It becomes a component of your general or integrated marketing plan. It has to be aligned with the other components of your marketing plan. So once it becomes uh, modulized, you do not need to create your own digital assets. Well, you can replicate digital assets created by someone else. And by doing so, you can improve ROI, return on investment. For example, TV commercials, 
uh, can, uh, for example, if you're uh, using uh, some digital assets uh, on the mobile internet, or, uh, actually these digital assets can be used by you too. Uh, last but not least, we need to make it scalable. Now we are dealing with too many devices. If the content can only support one or several types of devices, uh, that is a limitation on the uh, content uh, being used and shared by your users. So we need to make it possible uh, to support mobile uh, phones and PC uh, mainframe machines and uh, as uh, is shown in this uh, PPT, uh, from the most uh, simple uh, Google Cardboard uh, to the uh, Samsung's uh, solution. Uh, this is Advanced Mobile VR. Uh, it's uh, one step ahead of the uh, Google's uh, Cardboard. The third level uh, is uh, Oculus HTC Vive and Sony's uh, PlayStation VR. They go with the mainframe machines. And at the ultimate level, it's going to be a room scale, customized uh, experience a zone. And by doing so, we can maximize the return on investment because everything can be replicated and it supports different distribution channels. Uh, the cost of a production uh, content can be uh, absorbed by different distribution channels. Let me show you the top 10 uh, cases with the application of a VR in marketing. Uh, let's show you these uh, 10, uh, or one of the 10 award-winning application of a VR in marketing campaign. We're working on some uh, cases using a VR in content generation and in uh, uh, marketing. Uh. Hi, and today I want to present to you the 10 best uses of virtual reality in marketing. This is one of the most fast-paced emerging markets, and we've seen some incredible products, demos, videos, all using VR that engage you in completely new ways. On number 10 is the Coca-Cola VR sleigh ride that was done in Poland. Now this was good for three reasons. One, this is the really good animation Coca -Cola of Santa Claus of VR flowing VR. over the country. Two, they engaged hundreds of children and really played with their imagination. And three, they showed Coke as a modern company by using VR. And that's why this got number 10. At number nine, we have something else for you. It's it's a, a very Happy innovative goggles. product by McDonald's, and it's called Happy Goggles. Basically what they've done, and I love this, is that they have they were able to transform the Happy Meal box into their very own Google Cardboard, McDonald's Now this is a trial run, but we might just see this all over the UK and the US. At number 8, we have Michelle Obama's VR video. Now, this is a video from the Verge, and it was done by the Verge to show how much he's accomplished now that Obama is on his way out. And this is the very first, and I am not exaggerating here, the very first infographic using VR. And I've never seen anything like this, but it just captures your attention so well. Because the problem with 360 videos is that you sort of look everywhere. But this directs your attention and highlights really key points of social media. Which is why it's got the raid at number 7 the Times displays. So, so, this was the big highlight of this. What was that New York Times distributed over 1 million Google Cardboard for free to all their subscribers. So, New York Times distributed over 1 million Google Cardboard for free to all their subscribers. So, New York Times distributed over 1 可以来享用他们的一个内容，其实这也是一个挺好的一个方式。At number six, we have Bullseye Sensorium. 
，这应该是跟今天咱们的大会主题挺相关的。它是一个食品行业的一个品牌。It's a cheese company. They got more than 70k views. They won the Masters of Marketing Award 2015 for this, and this went on a six. 这些所有的都是用呃数字建模建出来的，然后是在游戏引擎上去 run. People come and sit down in chairs and go through this experience, and they got really great results. At number five, we have Top Shop's Catwalk Experience. 是时尚业的一个应用，等于说它是用了一个呃虚拟直播呃秀场。A unique front row experience. I can see that this is a top shop. The one, 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 one. Its brand and its product is very match. 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 At number four, we have the XC90 test drive video by Volvo. This is a VR app that puts you inside of their new car to get you familiar and comfortable with it, and you can even go driving on beautiful scenic country roads. Now, what this does a good job is that it gets you familiar with the car, and that's exactly what Volvo wants. They want people to be comfortable in their new cars. So they can help sell more, and so it was a very good marketing tactic in that sense. They got a lot of views on YouTube, a lot of press, and very good reviews on the app. Then he will put these experiences on the app. At number three, we have the Patron. The Art of Patron experience. This is a very good way. Now this is a tequila company that did a virtual reality experience. He put his property in how their product is made and how it gets used. He will take you to visit. 呃，生产这个原料的一些地方，包括它整个生产的流程，让大家来看到。They get a lot of views and they bring this out on trade shows to show audiences, potential buyers, how deep the history is at Patron. So very, very good, and it's really cool. It's all one shot. I highly recommend you watch this. Number two, we have Morel Trailscape. Now this was Morel is to make a outside trailscape, such a brand. So it actually has a very wide range of activities for everyone. You can walk around, you can go hiking on a mountain, and you can have a lot of fun. So you can walk around, you can go hiking on a mountain, and you can have a lot of fun. So you can walk around, you can go hiking on a mountain. In 2015, at the Sundance Film Festival. This is also in Sundance. At number one, we have Marriott's Teleporter. The first name is Teleporter. Imagine being able to go to a beach paradise whenever you wanted. Well, that's exactly what they did with the transporter. Basically, you can go to the beach. 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 顶层，或者说最 luxury 的这种 hotel 的环境，就只要你进入这个 Harry Potter， 你就随时可以 transport 到不同的一个呃世间的一个角落。所以这个万豪本身的它的产品定位和它宣宣宣扬的这个品牌价值也是一致的。And subtly reminds you that oh yeah, by the way, we have a hotel there. So I think this was a brilliant move. They're one of the first okay. people. To... Okay. 非常感谢。我想我的时间用的刚刚好。Well, that's all for my presentation. I'm looking forward to、uh, our exchanges of opinions in private. Thank you.